So today I've got an interesting uh, spoon for you. It is made of tulip poplar, um, sort of a popular tree uh, where I'm from. And uh, one of the interesting things about tulip poplar is that it has very small pores, which would make this a great spoon for using uh, in liquids, like a good soup spoon or you know something to stir broth with. Poplar isn't a very hard wood. It's definitely uh, harder than something like cedar or you know pine, but um, not harder than uh, maybe walnut. And one of the interesting things about this one in particular is it has this hole in it right here. Uh, it's not where a worm bored its way through, believe it or not. That's actually a hole uh, uh, that a nail had made. There was a nail on this particular piece of wood. Recently, my parents had to replace part of their roof. And in some of the off cuts were the right size for making a spoon. So I grabbed them and this is one of the results. Yeah, this right here, either my dad or my grandpa had hammered a nail through this particular piece of wood because they built our house. And I, uh, I kind of enjoy that. I like it, it has a little bit of history in it, sort of personal meaning. And <laughs> this spoon right here will work as a good draining spoon. There's no way I'm gonna fill that up, so uh, it's gonna drain liquids. So I've gotten pretty far with the spoon, it's starting to take shape, um, but inside the bowl right here, we have a bit of an issue. That's where sort of we have a we have a gnarly knot going on. It's really tough to make clean cuts when there's a knot in the wood. You can see all these notches down inside. So I've decided to sand the whole inside of this bowl. And I'm not entirely sure what I'll do yet, but I'm going, I'm leaning toward not sanding the outside, getting as clean of cuts as possible, cleaning up some of these notches that are on the back here, um, and leaving this sort of faceted work. You can see the, the markings here where the blade's been. Um, leaving that on the outside, uh, maybe doing a real light sand on the outside with a very high grit, fine sandpaper. Um, but I'm definitely going to sand the inside of this spoon uh, several times. Um, so let's see how it turns out. <laughs> 